hello and welcome back to creative automation youtube channel so today in this session we are going to learn about uh, opc protocol uh, like uh, we will create our scada as a opc server and we'll retrieve the data at the client side okay so opc is a server client based protocol where server will send data to their clients there may be multiple server there may be multiple client okay and uh, the one more advantage of opc is the open protocol communication they they are not dependent on the make so you can communicate between any siemens plc to uh, allen bradley or uh, schneider or anything there is not a make dependent protocol okay so which is widely used and there are two types of opc one is opc ta and one is opc ua so ta means the data access uh, the data access uh, was first developed protocol and it is dependent on the microsoft os only okay so you cannot uh, integrate opc ta into the other uh, operating system like uh, linux or anyone else and there are also lot of decom communication uh, configuration you have to execute while uh, communicate with client okay but uh, instead of ta in the unified architecture there is no need to uh, do any complex decom settings to communicate with its client and server uh, and also the ua is not a platform dependent uh, like you can use opc ua with the android os and the microsoft platform on the linux or the ios so uh, let's see how to uh, create a opc ua server and send the data to the client in our siemens business scada so uh, first of all uh, we will create one db script to give simulation value for our tags because we have no plc connected here so we will create a simulation tag so this is the SQL script uh, we have mentioned the necessary variable which we are going to use here and uh, uh, I have used a do and while loop so this loop will continue executing and will increase the three value I have taken three variable one is integer one is real and one is full so this script will increment random value in integer real and full up to 100 and then 0 and this loop will forever execute these are the commented area I have used for uh, data logging purpose uh, right now we are not using and those three tags I have assigned here so I will get the value here ok integer real and uh, pool now how to activate the opc ua server in our uh, siemens vc scada so for that you have to go to the runtime setting in our scada go to the services and there you have option to operate as the opc server uh, there are two options opc decom server which means data access server and there is opc unified architecture server so these two options are available uh, we don't have opc ta client yet so uh, we cannot perform this decom server right now so we will use opc unified architecture server because we have opc ua client available in our pc so we can get live data how this communication is get possible so I'll select unified architecture here and go to the OPC setting. You will create your OPC address. See OPC UA address having IP address and port. 
and the starting address would be opc.pcp and there is your host name means host ip what is your computer ip and there is a predefined port you can change this port uh, whatever you want but uh, keep remember that it should not conflict with other services uh, here you can provide the sign in access and uh, securities so the configuration is done uh, at the scada side and we will run our program start simulation now my uh, i have mentioned here my ip address my ip address of the system is 0 0.139 and this is my port so my scada is transferring all the tags to this opc server address so client has to connect with this address and client will get all the data from my scada to client side see uh, we have only the single uh, machine or computer here we are running server client on the single platform but you can uh, create a networking and you can get all the data in, in your network client so is it possible so my server is started and it's running now for client we are using ua expert unified automation ua expert so this is our uh, act as an opc unified architecture client which is widely used to for existing purpose this is our client now uh, to create a server or to link with server we will add here server there are a lot of servers are available go to the advanced and uh, you have to mention your address here OPC, PCP, 192.168.0.138 and this is my port address there is no security we have provided and press ok so the log will generate it and you can see uh, success message so it means your server is connected here uh, there uh, these folders are came this is the RT advanced is our SCADA name put the tags and here you will get all three tags from our SCADA just drag and drop to the work area data access view and you can see the live video is coming from our SCADA system to OPC client this OPC client uh, can be anything it can be PLC, SCADA or any other computer based program so the same value is replicating in the client side so this is very widely used protocol uh, nowadays and it can be integrated with the IT system like IoT for IoT purpose or OTIT integration thank you for watching please like and share and subscribe our YouTube channels.